Hello my dears, my friends, hello, welcome. I just wanted to come now and film an intro for this reading vlog. It's been a while since I've vlogged in general and even longer since I've done a reading vlog. And um, I was at my friend's house last week. She lent me this book and it seemed like the perfect book for me to do a reading vlog on. So if you've been around my channel for a while, especially if you watched Vlogmas or any Vlogmas of the past few years, you know I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan. It's one of those kind of comfort shows that I just love to watch um, when I'm writing or editing or doing anything in the evenings. I'll turn it on just to have the familiar voices filling my home. Um, and I love it. I love it so much. I've seen the entire series probably over 10 times at this point. Um, but I just love it. Anyway, so when I was at her house, she said, have you read this book? And I said, what book might that be? And she said, have I told you this already by Lauren Graham? And I said, I have not. In fact, I know this is Lauren Graham's second book of personal essays, and I didn't read the first one either. Mainly because I don't read a ton of nonfiction. I like to spend my time reading fiction. I like the journey we get to go on with fiction. And it's just where I prefer to spend my time. Um, but I was like, you know what? I would love to read that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, everything I've heard, it's very conversational. I'm sure it's very funny. Lauren Graham, I just love her so much. She plays, of course, Lorelai Gilmore in The Gilmore Girls. And I'm very excited to see what this book is about. I was flipping through the titles and they all sound very funny. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. So whether you're a Gilmore Girls fan or not, please do stay tuned because I'm sure this isn't Gilmore Girls related. She just happens to have been on the Gilmore Girls. So let's get on into it. All right, hi there guys. Welcome to this vlog. It is Tuesday, February 7th and it is seven degrees. <laughs> seven degrees in Alberta in February. What's going on? It's a bright sunny day. Wow. Wow, good vibes to start this vlog off with. All right, so I'm getting ready to start reading this book. My friend Crystal lent it to me the other day because we were both obsessed with the Gilmore Girls. I've never read any of Lauren Graham's books. So she was like, take this one, read it. So that's what we're doing today. So these are like personal essays. So I feel like you can kind of pick it up when you need to read a story and then, you know, you can put it down for a bit. So I'm also reading at the same time. Let me show you. As you can see here in my NetGalley app, I'm reading On the Savage Side by Tiffany McDaniel, which this one comes out on February 14th. So I don't know which will be going up first, this reading vlog or my review for this book. But so far, I'm loving it. Loving it. It's so good. Can't wait to tell you guys about it. All right. So I just finished the first story. Moving on now to boobs of the 90s. Uh, the first story was cute. It was just kind of about how she's got a very bad memory. She's constantly losing everything. Her keys, her phone, pieces of paper. And then she sort of ties it together with um, her dad and how he's similar and the whole family. And so I just thought that was pretty cute. I'm really liking so far the tone. It's very like um, conversational. Like you're just chatting with a friend. And I love it. All right, hi there guys. The last I saw you, I know I was like, oh, I'm reading Lauren Graham. I'm reading on the Savage Side, going back and forth. Well, that quickly stopped and I blew through on the Savage Side. The book review for that video is gonna be up before this vlog. And I know that because I'm currently also filming that book review, but I got into it so deeply, so quickly that I had to stop reading the other book <laughs> to get this one finished and it, if you haven't watched that review, go and watch it. It was, it, <sighs> I don't even know how to talk about it. It was maybe one of the best books I've ever read. Time will tell, I guess, but I was so incredibly upset by it. <sighs> go check out the review. Leave me a comment on there. Okay, let's get back into the vlog. I had to pop on here and show you some of the goodies that my good friend here on YouTube um, Kim sent me, sent me this book lover's plaque, which I love. It's going in the background where I film normally. Some tea, a face mask, a card, and so many other like, let me show you here, cute stickers and goodies. And what does it say here? Wishing you a sparkly new year. Just so cute. And this little, this little guy here. So cute. And then look, 
she said these stickers. And that's, that's kind of Trixie. Only Trixie's got longer hair. <laughs> All right, hi there guys. I have now read the first four of these stories. So I, th I think I told you a little bit about the first one. So now I'll tell you a little bit about the next three. Um, I'm really enjoying this. It's very fun. I like her a lot. I feel like, I feel like she's the kind of person that like everybody would be friends with if they knew her. <laughs> okay, so the second story was called Boobs of the 90s. And that was cute. It was kind of about um, when she first made the move in her career from New York to LA to like try to really get into more roles. Um, just talking about how when she lived in New York, she had never really thought about her boobs before, but now being in LA, um, she did because of all the other actresses around her. And um, it also talks a bit about deciding for yourself what kind of roles you want to be in, what kind of roles you're willing to take, what you're willing to do, if nudity is something you're willing to do, what that will mean for your career going forward. And I thought it was, I thought it was a really interesting essay. Next we had <laughs> um, Ryan Gosling cannot confirm. So that story is about the hierarchy in Hollywood and how, you know, whether it's your place on a nighttime talk show if you're going to get booked to what time you're allowed to arrive on a red carpet for a premiere or an award show to if somebody will even let you get your eyebrows done at their salon. There's just a hierarchy for everything and you quickly learn your place based on where you are on that hierarchy and then it also talks about um, the feeling as your place on that hierarchy changes as you get more experience, become more well known. So I thought that was pretty interesting as well. Um, the next is called R.I.P. Barney's New York. And I like this story too. It's kind of a love letter to the institution of Barney's, the shopping center. Um, I've never been to one, so I don't know if it's like a department store, or like a mall. I think it's a store. Anyway, um, so in this one, she talks about how um, when she was still living in New York, she started working there, and there's a really funny anecdote about how they have a very strict policy, no shoplifting policy, like obviously, I'm sure all stores do, but like it's to the point where if you accidentally take home a display lipstick that, you know, you have been showing someone you accidentally put in your pocket, meaning to put it back, but you don't, you're, you're fired. Um, even if you try to explain that it was an accident. <laughs> So she talks about how in uh, one day during her shift, she lived close enough to Barney's that she could go home at lunch. And so she goes home and when she gets home, she catches sight of herself in the mirror, gasps, because she realizes she's worn home a cardigan uh, that she didn't own <laughs> from the store. She put it on, I don't know, she got cold, whatever. She meant to put it back on the rack, didn't. And now she's home panicking because she accidentally took this sweater home. And so she's having a full blown panic attack, doesn't know what to do. So she's like, should I wear it back to the store? Apologize profusely, beg they, like hope they take mercy on me. What should I do? So she ends up just taking it off <laughs> and leaving it at home, never to speak of it again. And the way she words it, she says, in my quest to make sure I never accidentally shoplifted, I ended up shoplifting. <laughs> and I just thought that was a, a kind of funny story. And yeah, so that's where we're at so far. Like I said, enjoying it. Very conversational, very like you're listening to your best friend tell you stories about her life. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. So now we'll move on to the rest of the stories. And my goal today is to, up coming up next, have a montage, a music montage of all the beautiful things I see today and I can share with you. So let's get that going right now. It's evening now and Ed and I are settled in and we're gonna watch you. I'd watched the first three seasons of this, um, but he hadn't, so we thought we'd go back, start from the beginning before we start the first part of season four. 
So here's Ed. Like I just said, we're watching, or he's watching you for the first time. I'm rewatching it. Are you enjoying it? I am so far. So far, pretty good. Hey, we're on what? Season one, episode nine. Two more yes. left. All right. I just wanted, I know the ladies like it when you <laughs> pop in. Yeah, no, it's, um, I know how season one ends specifically because uh, I remember you saying something about this. And me being, you, you were like, do you mind if I, uh, like, I need to talk to somebody about this. And I was like, I have, I'm never going to watch this, <laughs> so sure, tell me whatever you need to. I don't care. And now here we are. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh my god, how does this happen? How does it come to this? <laughs> yeah. All right, so I read a couple more of the essays. One was really interesting. It was kind of about how Hollywood works, like, in the technical term of, like, shooting for a TV show and she went through a lot of like the steps of how like technically how things are shot how scenes are filmed what time you've got to be places how it all goes I like that a lot very interesting so the next one is called health camps I have hated and yet in yet in most cases returned to so that'll be interesting then after I read that I'm going to go and get ready for lunch, it's Valentine's Day, and um, Ed and I are going to Tim's for a quick lunch together. Hello! <laughs> we're out for our Valentine's lunch date. We're by the fireplace. While I'm filming this vlog, it feels important to tell you that I am currently on another rewatch of the Gilmore Girls. We're in season three. Rory's in her, I think, final year of high school. I just, I just love it so much. All right. Hi there, guys. I thought I would come now and finish this vlog because I just finished. Have I told you this already? And uh, I loved it. Um, the last essays were about a ton of things. Aging, which I loved. Aging in Hollywood which I also love to hear about. Um, we had one about a dog she tried adopting, but ended up not being the right fit for. So she had to return it, but then is now getting to watch this dog thrive with another family. And for that one, I loved how she drew parallels between her having to let that dog go and her mom. Because when she was very young, her mom just decided that motherhood, family life wasn't for her. And so she, she left um, Lauren and her dad and her siblings and went to London. She had dreams of an artistic life and just left. And so when Lauren realizes that this dog is too much for her, um, it takes a friend of hers to say, you know, if you find this dog a new home, you're not like your mother. It's different. And, uh, I just thought that was a profound moment. Um, we also got another technical essay, whereas the first one was about how scenes are shot, like literally. This one was advice from one of her director friends and I thought that was really cute too and then at the end of the essay having now directed um, Lauren as adds her own sort of tips or advice for if you find yourself in the position where you're going to direct something and I thought that was great so and then oh yes then the final essay is sort of a love letter to New York which has happened like I told you about the Barney's essay earlier so now this is just kind of a love letter to New York in general and I thought it was I thought it was lovely New York City is a place I've always wanted to visit and hopefully will soon but um, just hearing her talk about it in the final essay and then throughout the whole book um, that only added to that desire you know so would recommend um, the next time I go to my friend's house, I might borrow Lauren Graham's first book of essays. And then tonight I saw on Amazon, they also have her novel, which she wrote, I think, in 2017. 
2012 or 2013 so I might pick that up too and do another reading vlog on that so we'll see anyway <laughs> this was my week spent with Lauren Graham which I loved I love her a lot I I obviously have watched and rewatched and rewatched Gilmore Girls but I've also loved her in Parenthood which is a great show in Canada I think it was on Amazon Prime and now it's it's gone um, but maybe in America it's still somewhere where you can stream it but it's it's a great show um, it also has um, Peter Krause in it who I've loved since I saw him on Six Feet Under on HBO which is one of my all-time favorite shows um, so he's in it and she's in it and there's just a ton of great actors in it so I'm gonna end this now get it ready to upload in the morning and I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day which is technically still today it's nighttime but it's still Valentine's Day so in the comments down below let me know if you've watched any of Lauren Graham's shows I know she's currently I think currently has one on Disney Plus which is like a Mighty Ducks which the Mighty Ducks movies came out in like the 90s I think this is a Mighty Ducks show and I know she had um, a few years ago I think Zoe's Ultimate Playlist which I think was a musical which I haven't seen um, but I'm going to check out, try to see where I can stream it in Canada. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you again real soon with another, I think, I think next will be another spoiler-free book review. Otherwise, it will be a book talk of a book that I've had on my shelf for a while. <laughs> Either way, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.